Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's understand two important things. Number one, can you get a job as a DevOps and Cloud Engineer at Tier 1 companies or MAN companies? Number two, if yes, how can you do it? What is the roadmap that you have to follow? We will try to understand both of these things in today's video. If you are interested, make sure you watch this video till the end. So whenever we talk about DevOps and cloud positions at MAN companies or Tier 1 companies, a lot of people have this misconception that DevOps and cloud engineers are not hired in Tier 1 companies. Some people say, you know, these roles are done by developers at Tier 1 companies or MAN companies. Let's try to understand the reality. You don't have to trust me. You don't have to trust anyone else. You can just go to career pages of these companies and just search and see for yourself if these companies hire DevOps and cloud engineers. For example, this is Google career page. And if you just search for cloud engineer, right? So I'll just search for cloud engineer. I'll skip the location search. So you can see for yourself, cloud engineer, platform engineer, cloud engineer 2, cloud engineer 1, cloud engineer. There are a bunch of cloud engineer positions at Google right now. I mean, I just search for cloud engineer, but you can also find relevant areas, cloud engineer AI, that is AI cloud engineer, strategic cloud engineer, no matter what. There are 1200 open positions, which has the relevant keyword cloud. If you assume some of these jobs might have cloud as just one or two pointers, still there are plenty of openings for cloud engineers at Google. Now cloud engineering and DevOps is almost the same. For example, if you search for the DevOps keyword, you will find almost the same company, uh, same job openings because, you know, let's say I just opened this one here. You can see DevOps as a required skill. So you can see here DevOps as a required skill. That means if you want to get into cloud engineer positions, DevOps is a prerequisite. You cannot become a cloud engineer without learning DevOps. So DevOps and cloud, they are almost the same. Okay, let's try to see what about Amazon. So again, I use the uh, keyword DevOps and you know, I just searched in the Amazon jobs. I just skipped the location. You can find delivery consultant DevOps, uh, three years of experience uh, opening in Bangalore. You can also find delivery consultant DevOps. Again, this one is San Francisco. Similarly, Windows DevOps, uh, senior delivery consultant DevOps. So you will find a lot of open positions in Amazon. If I search for cloud uh, engineer position, I might find even more. Uh, this is Apple jobs. Uh, by default, it's filtered Hyderabad because I'm in Hyderabad. It picked up the location. There are 75 open positions in Hyderabad. If I just search for DevOps, 16 results out of which the first one that you see here is a DevOps engineer. Rest are software engineer, uh, SRE software engineer. Uh, they might have DevOps as a prerequisite, but some of these positions have dedicated job roles. Uh, DevOps engineer, one open position. SRE engineer, one open position. Uh, and few more like site reliability engineer, site reliability engineer manager, LLM ops engineer, which is another opportunity for DevOps engineers to explore. Like ML ops engineer, LLM ops engineer. These are another opportunities for DevOps engineers to explore. So this makes it clear DevOps and cloud engineers are hired at tier one companies. So you don't have to buy this argument going forward. Like whenever you see some random people saying that DevOps is almost dead or DevOps engineers are not hired at tier one or developers do DevOps engineer positions. You can see for yourself DevOps positions are open. Cool. Now, if you want to become a DevOps engineer at tier one company, what is the roadmap that you have to follow? Of course, it's going to be a little different. Like, for example, if you want to become a DevOps engineer, let's say in tier two or tier three companies, you can just follow our date playlist. So we have uh, a date roadmap on the channel where D stands for DevOps zero to hero. A stands for AWS or Azure zero to hero. T stands for 
Terraform zero to hero. On top of that, I usually recommend Python zero to hero series as well. So this roadmap is perfectly fine if you want to go for tier two or tier three companies. But if you want to go to tier one company, the roadmap is slightly different. Number one, you have to focus on data structures and algorithms. DSA is a key because when you go to these tier one company interviews, they have a common round irrespective of you are attending for a developer position, QE position, DevOps engineer position. They have initial screening round where they conduct data structures and algorithms. If you are into senior positions, they also look for system design. It can be high level design and low level design. So this is the first thing that you have to learn. Number two, if you want to go to this tier two companies, sorry, tier one companies, go with our DevOps zero to hero. Again, you might be looking for cloud engineer or you might be looking for DevOps engineer. The roadmap is the same because technically these days, if you join as a DevOps engineer, you will be working on a cloud platform. Very, very few companies are operating on premises these days. Otherwise, most of the companies are on public cloud platforms. Then once you're done with this, go with a cloud platform. It can be AWS, it can be Azure, or it can be GCP. Now we have all the three playlists on the channel. If you want to go for AWS zero to hero, you can go with it. If you want to go for Azure zero to hero, you can go with it or GCP zero to hero as well. All of them are freely available on the channel. Then you have to look for Terraform or you can go with any infrastructure as code platform. If you don't like Terraform, go with any um, scripting oriented ones. For example, AWS CDK or Azure SDK. Go with these kind of things. Then Python zero to hero because you might be expected to show some uh, scripting knowledge. So definitely you should go with our Python zero to hero. Then on top of that, you also have to go through our observability zero to hero series. This is important for tier one companies because these companies usually look for scale. Even the questions that they ask in the interviews, they mostly focus on how would you handle million concurrent requests or design a system that can handle a load of uh, X users. All of that is covered in our observability zero to hero playlist, even instrumentation of custom metrics, open telemetry, all of it is covered. Then it is good. Of course, this is not mandatory, but go with our AI assisted DevOps playlist because in this playlist, I explained how to use AI agents and even how to use agentic AI framework that is crew AI within your DevOps day to day activities. So this will definitely help because you are trying for tier one companies. They look for some X factor and this can be your X factor. You might find DevOps and cloud engineers who come with these experience and they might also prepare for DSA. But if you want an X factor, you can go with our AI assisted zero to hero series because in that playlist I covered AI agents and also agentic AI for DevOps. So I hope this answered your question. Number one, can DevOps engineers get into tier one companies? I showed you, you can also go to these platforms like Google jobs, Amazon jobs, Apple jobs, meta jobs and search for yourself. Number two, what is the roadmap? If you want to get to these companies, all of these playlists, are available freely on the channel. You don't have to subscribe to our membership. You don't have to do anything. Just get to the channel, go to the courses section. Our channel has something called courses, which is, you know, very, uh, very few creators out there have this section called courses. So we have the courses on YouTube, go to the courses section. You will find all of these courses. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions like this, do let me know in the comment section. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.